Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can install and run a local version of the new DAISY map Nemalsk on your local DAISY server. Um, I'm going to kind of assume that you've, you've installed a DAISY server already locally on your PC or laptop. Um, and if you haven't, go back a few videos of mine and you'll, I'll show you how to do it. But we also really want to be start, starting with a fresh version of the DAISY server. I think this is the easiest way to do it to start off with. Um, so probably what you want to do is if, if you've already got um, a DAISY server installed that you're using for Chernerus or or uh, another map, go into your DAISY, go into your um, folder where you have it and you want to change it from DAISY server to something like DAISY Chernerus and then you want to go in and take the absolute address from the address bar at the top and then you'll want to go into your um, the, uh, server D, sorry, your start um, batch file. You want to edit that, and then you want, you want to make sure that server location uh, C equals blood is the same as what it is now. So how it's changed there. So it'll be going from uh, Daisy server to Daisy server Chernerus, for example. And then you can close that up. Um, nope. Um, and that way what you can then do is in Steam if you then open up your tools with the DAISY server go to properties go to local files and verify integrity of game files it will then download the server again so you'll end up with something like this so within your Steam files you'll have DAISY server if you're saying to me now well where are the <laughs> where are the DAISY server files in your computer, you've probably installed them on the C drive. Um, you might have to go into user, but what you're looking for is program files x86. Then you're looking for Steam. Then you're looking for Steam apps. Then you're looking for common. Then you'll see Daisy server. There it is. So this is our nice, fresh Daisy server ready for Namalsk. So again, back to Steam. And what we want to do into Steam is we want to go into the workshop. And what you're looking for is the Daisy workshop. And then within the Daisy workshop, we want to search for Namalsk, like so. And then if you haven't already, go into Namalsk Island and you want to subscribe to that one. Go into Namalsk Survival. And you want to subscribe to that one they will then download so what we want to do now is we want to copy those um, mods from daisy locally to our daisy server so in fact the easiest way is if you just go up a couple you'll see you'll have daisy here and what you can do if you go into the workshop folder here you'll see the mask island and the mouse survival so if you just control uh, left click those two then right click copy and go back up one up another one then go back into your daisy server and you just want to paste them in there we go so there we've got the mask island and the mouse survival have just appeared then what we do is we need the keys from these to make sure they'll work with the server so if you go inside of these and just go into keys and copy some rack dot by key copy that go back up go into the keys folder for your server and paste it in. We, now we only need to do one because they're both the same. They're both sumrack.bykey. So we're, we're, <laughs> we're on our way. What we want now though is if we go into the missions folder, so the missions folder is the thing that has all the types, .xmls and the zombie files and that sort of stuff, you'll notice we've only got Chernerus and Enoch. We need um, we need the mask, don't we? So if we go to um, GitHub, and I'll put a link below the video, go to some record, go to Adam's uh, GitHub uh, depository, he's got all the files here. And when he does an update, this is where you get the files from. And you see the box that says code, you click on that and you download the zip file here. So you download zip. And then once you've downloaded it, you'll have a zip file like this, and then copy it somewhere else and extract it. So right click extract, and you'll have the server files. Now there's a good read me to look through but what we're interested in is the mission files to start off with and we want regular dot namalsk so we're just going to copy that then we're going to go back to the missions folder 
inside our daisy uh, server and we're going to paste that in there now also what he supplies is a config file as well this is very important regular so we want the regular one um, and the config file is one of the ways that daisy um, is told to set up how the server runs so what we do is we just want to copy that and we want to come back to our daisy server and we paste that in here with all the rest of the bits so there it is daisy server.config and in fact if we edit that with notepad plus plus or whatever we can see here it is so standard server parameters now we're going to change the name from regular namal server to ssg namalsk oh. test server so scale speed of gaming namalsk test server now these other settings down here you'll probably know a little bit about them you've got your server time acceleration nighttime acceleration and um, personal nightlight all that sort of stuff once you've got the server running by all means come back and start playing around with all this stuff but we're just going to save that like so let's go back and look at our server now the way that the server starts isn't you you don't just click on there or you don't just click on the shortcut that's probably on desktop we need to give it a set of instructions as it starts we need to say look i want you to start running daisy server underscore x64 but i want you to start running with the namask island mod and the namask survival mod running um and we do that by creating a batch file <laughs> all right so let's create our, our batch file it's like a it's like a, a starting gun for the server but it's also giving you instructions maybe like a referee at the beginning of a boxing match saying right I, you know i want no no biting no gouging no punching below the belt and please start with the mouse survival mod um so what i've done is in the description below the video there's a link to a article by a guy called court pie which is a guide to installing a daisy server on your local pc or laptop it's very very useful actually that's what i used and rather helpfully if you scroll down he has an example batch file so what you can do is you can copy all of this go into your favorite text editor again i recommend notepad plus plus file new paste it in file save as uh, make sure you're in the daisy server and what we want to do is we want to use quotation marks start dot bat so we're telling this is a batch file a notepad plus plus then um color codes everything excuse me while i'll just take a drink so as we go down we can see set server name equals well let's change that we don't want to call gym server ssg now mask test server like so the location c program programs x86 the maps common daisy server that is correct server port config the server dz.config so you see where it says server dz.config that matches up with server dz.config so that's good and as we scroll down this is the meat and potatoes here this line here this is the one that says start the daisy server that's the program using uh, the config server dz.config at port server port cpu count however unfortunately there's a couple of things missing from this uh, this line one of them is the instruction about where your server should store its log files um, and this folder can often be called uh, profile sometimes it's called on your server or it might be called config but we actually tell the server what to call it so here's one that i preferred prefer prepared earlier profiles.config so what i need you to do in your start.bat i need you to type the following here we go that's that's what i need to type so quotation mark or inverted comma to commas dash profiles equals config um close uh, inverted commas or, or quote it sorry uh, or or quotation marks and what that does is when when the server starts up it'll actually create a folder called config now it could be called config it could, could be profiles it could be called settings it doesn't really matter what it's called but it's where it's going to store things like um 
as I say, server logs. Also, when you come to add things like the community framework mod and Zombri admin tools or community online tools, that's the folder where you put the information that says, "Hey, I'm an admin. This is my Steam ID. Let me, you know, let me have God mode on that and that sort of thing." So that, that so that's very very important to to have that. So that's why we why we put that in. Now we also need to add uh, the the instruction with which mods to start off with as well. So here's another one that I preferred earlier, but there's a little bit too many mods on this. So let's just copy that. Let's paste it after the profiles but on this one you don't need that you don't need that and we don't need that so let's get rid of that so what knowing what I need you to type now is quotation mark or inverted comma dash mod equals at Namalsk space island semicolon at Namalsk space survival quotation marks and there should be a space there as well so that's the line that says start the server with these two mods please um, and then we can go ahead and we can save that and then if we come back to our server there we go so we've done all the basics now um, and what I would recommend if you if you you know you, you're um, chomping at the bit because you want to install other mods hold on a minute you know, get the server running basically first so you know it actually starts and you can access it then add your cf then add your zombrary um, and add other things like um, the mouse igloo and all that other fun stuff but what we can do now well i just take a second to remember if i've done, done everything let's have a look yeah that's in there that's there are all our keys there yeah so what we do now is we just click double click on the start.bat and what we're looking for is the log file to appear which is this one now this is a fascinating thing here if you look here so this is this is like the matrix for daisy you know in daisy in the matrix when you're watching the green um letters um go down the screen this is this is the server working this is the central loot economy working it's amazing you can you can see it spawning stuff in it's really really cool anyway so that seems to be working so we can close that now sorry you can minimize that don't close it and then what we can do if we come if we minimize all these minimize all these minimize these so let's click on the daisy launcher just the normal daisy launcher and it'll fire this up and then we go to our mods to start off with and we know we want the mouse survival on the mouse island selected and nothing else then we go to our servers and we want to go to LAN because it's on our computer. So there it is. The mouse test SSG, the mouse test server is there. If we click on more details, we can see that there's the mouse survival and the mouse island, which are green. We both got them, so we click set up DLC mods and join. So now it'll start to start. And this is where I'm just trying to remember whether I actually did did I did I remember to change the I did put the daisy config file in <laughs> I thought I'd forgotten to do it then um, so one thing I would say is as the game's starting to to fire up um, and load hopefully if I'm doing everything correctly let's just put that full screen mode um, hopefully what we will see here it comes <laughs> is the mouse fire up um, and one thing I would say is working with a local Daisy server um, and installing mods, or just getting it running. To be honest, you will learn so much about Daisy modding, how Daisy works, how Daisy server works, how the different files come in um, to, to make it all come together. How they trigger things like mods, how they trigger things like which map pack to use, well, which mission folder to use, um, and really importantly. It helps you understand why things go wrong as well because it's very easy to make mistakes it's easy to make spelling mistakes it's easy to copy the files um, to the wrong folder um, right there we go so here we are now this probably won't look great because I'm recording this on OBS but we are actually on the mouse freezing to death <laughs> But there it is. So, my friends, that has been how you install Namalsk on your local server. And everything we've done there um, is 
a very similar to way to the way that you would install it on a remote server. Now, I will do a separate video on how you install it on, on Nitrado. The significantly different part is the batch file bit, because normally on a remote server, you don't have access to the batch file. Um, the server company does. And you, you know when you're on Nitrado, for example, and you're in the general settings and you have to scroll down, it says additional mods, and that's where you put at Namalsk Island, at Namalsk Survival. That's where you put those. Um, but everything else is, is is basically the same with the server the server config um, files and that, all of that sort of stuff. You in Nitrado, you would do that in the advanced section, and you would you could copy and paste them into there. Right, so there we go. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has been, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.